Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys a really cool combination of brawlers. So what I was doing all day today, it's currently 4.02 p.m. The last four hours, all I've been doing is working on a siege guide. Now I plan for that to be out today, but due to how long editing takes and the fact that I want to premiere the video and have it out at a decent time, we're going to release that tomorrow. And so I had, I kind of had to come up with a last minute video here and I thought to myself, what can be really informative? But I can also show you guys it really quickly get this video done fast so I can still have a video done for today And what I'm gonna be showing you guys is an absolutely unreal combination of brawlers I hope you guys have been again watching my recent videos because if you notice these two brawlers are gonna be Or were almost part of the top five one of them was about six or seven and those two brawlers are going to be Gene and Tara Now the reason these two brawlers work so well together is they're two absolute game changers they have the two best supers in the game and they can just absolutely turn the tables of a game at any point during it. So what we're going to be doing is playing Factory Rush, Double Swoosh, and Course Course, trying to see if we can go undefeated in those games. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's see if we can make it work. So theoretically, this comp is really good because no matter what, you're going to have a Tara pull at some point or a Gene pull and you can always make the game a 3 on 2 or make the game a little bit easier on yourself. So the start is a little bit difficult, we're going to have to just chip away to begin. Um, that's really odd. We're facing a bull named Pika, but we're playing with Pika. So that's really interesting. Luki's going to go down, but I believe he gets his super there. We're about halfway. It takes us a while to get our super, unfortunately. It's the one downfall of Tara. Got some good value there, so we're able to get the super. Going to take out this turret. Now Luki does have his super, he's going to get that pull, and that's going to make the game a 3 on 2. Pika's going to go for a play, he's not going to be able to do anything unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to take out this turret immediately. We're going to stand right over here. Going to play this ball up. Going to go for a pull. Nothing's going to happen because Luki's actually going to pull this Pika away. Let's see, still doing decent here. Pika now has the ball. Luki going for a pull. He's going to miss that pull. We're going to make a play, though. Good play over there by Pika and by Luki, and we're able to get the first goal. So Pika's playing out of his mind right now against the other Pika. So we're going to move to the right over here. We do have pull, so Luki's going to go for the pull. It's not going to end up so well. Uh, that's going to be a goal for them. There's nothing that we can really do about that. Uh, they're going to they're gonna be M a little bit, but that's going to be a one-to-one -one game. We do have our pull, though, so it is time to make a play for us. I'm just going to chill in here. Gonna go for this Jesse because that's gonna be a really easy kill for us. And there we go, the game is now a three on two. So again, just working away, trying to get our super. Luki also trying to get his super because both of ours can make the game a three on two at any point. Luki now has his. I'm one shot from mine. Pika gonna go for a play. I'm just gonna pull in the middle over here. Luki has his pull, he's gonna get the pull, and right there, game changing play, pulls the player away from the net, which gives me an open net, and that is going to be the first game. So on the next game, I'm gonna go Gene, and Luki is gonna go Tara, and we're gonna see if we can make this work. Let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. So here we go into the next game. Uh, we're gonna be going up against a Nita, a uh, Sandy, and a Poco, so a decent control comp here. Uh, but we do have this kind of game changing comp, so that's really good. Um, again, now with the Gene, what we're going to be doing is just trying to pull people, making it a 3 on 2. Tara, you can definitely go for something more big play, but with Gene, you kind of take it slowly, one at a time. Uh, so we're going to be able to get our super there. Pika's walking up. He's going to go for some tank plays. Dude, Pika is a crazy bull. If you guys ever want to see some bull gameplay, definitely let me know, and I'll get Pika on the channel, because Pika's insane. But anyways, that's going to be the first goal. I'm going to have my super over here. I'm going to go for a pull. That's going to be a really easy kill for us. Luki has his super. He's going to use it. Uh, it's not going to end up going well, but we should be able to make that save. Okay. We're fine. I have my pull here, so I'm going to just push the ball up. He's going to put his bear out. We're going to be able to easily destroy that. Luki going for a play. He's going to be able to get two of them. There we go. Really well played over there. That's going to be a quick game. We'll do one more game as Gene on Brawl just to see what happens. But let's do it again. Let's see if we can go 3-0 in Brawl Let's hop into the next game and see what happens. So here we go into the next game. Same thing, going with the same comp. Uh, facing a B, Max, and Colts. This one's a lot of DPS here. So this is going to be a very different matchup than we just had. Chipping away here. This one's definitely going to be hard on Pika. Good work over there by Luki. Trying to juke this B shot. It's going to be tanked. 
going to pass the ball right off to Pika. Pika's going to try and make plays. He's going to be able to get a kill, but I believe that's all he's going to be able to do as he's going to go down over there. So we're going to move up. Again, this combination works really well together. Going to wait for the Colt to shoot once. Oh, the speed knocked that off. Wow. That was really odd timing. Uh, Luki has his pull. He's going to be able to get a double pull over there. Get the double kill. Really good play by him. Again, another game-changing moment that just happens once every 30 seconds. And he's probably going to be able to walk up and score that. Uh, he will be able to. There we go. One to nothing for us. So now we're working on getting Gene, Gene Super here. There we go. We got it. Going to walk up to this Colt. Pull the Colt. Pika's going to get a Super. Move up. He's going to go for a play. Doesn't really matter what they do because there's nothing that they can do to stop the comp. And that's going to be 3-0 and on Brawl Ball. So that was really good on Brawl Ball, but Tara and Jean are obviously good on Brawl Ball. So let's experiment a little bit more. Let's hop over to Gem. I'll go Tara one game and Jean one game and Gem. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Now for the first game, I'm going to be going Tara. I'm going to go up the left lane here. I think Pika's going to go right. So again, very game changing and it's more so in gem than in anything that game changing plays can happen because obviously you can be down a ton of gems or be like tied 5-5 five, five, and take all of them in one second and win the game. So definitely much more uh, OP comp here than in, Bra than in Brawl Ball, although it does still work in Brawl Ball. Gonna just get a little bit of value out of that. Don't think I'm gonna do anything, but I almost got my super back and I did help my team out because they pushed up. So that was a pretty decent super, pretty close to my next one. So it's 3 nothing here, but we're not really too worried because we have Gene Pull and Tara Super. Pika doing good work up there. He's going to go down, though. We're going to be able to get that kill. Going to go for the pull here. Going to be able to get two of them. Got to move back here, trying to recharge my Super. Need one shot. There we go. Hit one. Going to go for a pull here. Oh, good clip, actually, over there by the Rosa to stay on the wall. Although we are doing a good job here. Luki's going to get the final gem that he needs. I'm going to just stay near this, uh, near the gene so nothing can happen. We're going to pull that over there. This is going to be really easily done. Uh, Luki's just chilling. He's going to go for the pull. Again, they can't do anything. This is a really, really good gem comp. I would definitely highly recommend using Tara and Gene and gem. So let's hop into the next game. I'm going to go gene this game. And let's see if we can continue making plays happen. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against a Crow, Colt, and Jesse. So this game should be pretty easy, to be honest. We're going to move forward here. Um, start off the game just chipping away, kind of. Just going to run forward. To try and get a charge super there. We're about halfway. Up to nothing. We should be fine this game, to be honest. Going to try and get a shot on that Crow. Not going to be able to, but we're able to charge our super, so that's good. Gonna get close to Luki so we can help him beat this crow. Gonna be able to hit that shot. Need Luki to hit him once. There we go. We got some good taps and he's able to get his super. So we're gonna move up over here. Five nothing. Really good start so far. Gonna be able to get that kill. Although Luki is gonna go down. Pika's gonna be able to get his kill over there on that side. Gonna go for the Jesse. Again, we're chilling. We're kind of backed up, but we do have pull. And Tara Super, so we should be perfectly fine here. Gonna go for that pull. Really easy pull over there. Gonna make this a three on two. Oh, their Colt's kind of going off here, so I'm gonna hydrate over here. Again, Luki does have Tara pull, so we can definitely make a play. He's gonna go for the double pull. Gonna be able to get that. And we're gonna have 10 gems now, so he's gonna be making his way back. Gonna go for the single pull over there on Colt, and there you go. Exactly what I was talking about, just game-changing plays, super easy for this comp. Happens all the time. It's unfortunate that we that we weren't losing throughout this uh, throughout any gem games in this video, because we couldn't make a play that would uh, give us the lead. But, those are gonna be two really easy games using Gene and Tara. So let's hop into our final game. We're only gonna do one game on the next map, because it's really hard to win with a bull and not that P not that bull is necessary for this map pika just cannot play any brawlers besides bull but with gene and tara it's going to be really hard so let's hop into the siege game we're only going to do one and let's see if we can make it happen Kano's walking up okay so i think Kano is going to be throwing this game okay so here we go into our next game unfortunately Kano did throw the other game our first siege game so we're gonna have to go into this so now we're facing a good comp here they do have a piper which is going to be really challenging for our team as almost all of us get uh out comped or countered by this oh no 
Oh no, okay, I thought I thought that Penny was throwing. She was just BMing, so we're gonna take the L over there to start off. Um, so this is gonna be a really interesting and hard comp to beat, not going to lie. This is gonna be a very tough one. So we're gonna try and get our super here. Just gonna try and take out the turret, not gonna be able to do so. Oh, Luki misses the final shot to take out the turret. That's not very good. Bot's coming in. Hopefully, Pika can tank and do some damage to that bot. I'm able to get my pull. Going to get a really good pull over there on that uh, on that Piper. So, that's obviously really good. Okay, all of those went for me. They're trying to defend. So, I guess a subpar defense could be better, could be worse. Oh, no, we missed that. That was a very crucial shot to hit. Luki does have a super. Hopefully, he's able to get that, and we're able to get that bolt. Perfectly played there. Pika's going to walk up. He's going to be able to get his super. Going to make a play over there. Going to try and kill this Rosa. Although, it does look like we have the next bot, so this is actually looking kind of good. Luki's going to try and charge a super over here. Uh, shooting this right side. We can't give up anything. Can't let a penny turret get on the safe either. Going to try and break walls here. Going to do that successfully. And now we are on the safe. So we're doing some good damage here. They do throw a turret down. So we're going to have to move back. Going to try and take that out. There we go. And here we go. Really interesting time in the game here. Again, can't let a penny turret get down. We have to control mid. Luki does have a super. He's going to get a double pull there. And right there, game changing play. That's going to give us the lead. I'm going to use my gene pull. Going to pull the Rosa in here. And that is probably going to give us the victory unless the penny does sneak up now we could go down that's not an issue just got to watch out for this penny over here make sure nothing fishy happens i'm gonna move down this side and just guard uh the rosa although pika just did some good damage over there so we're gonna do some good damage to this rosa uh, nothing that they can do at this point is going to win them the game and we do end up winning even though this is one of the furthest out of meta things that you can do playing Bull and Tara. Just the absolute amazing combination of Tara and Jean still made it work. And that is going to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, Tara and Jean is an unbelievably broken just combination of brawlers you see it all the time and competitive all the time in top ladder and i hope you guys start using it too so that's gonna be it for today's video tomorrow we're gonna have a siege guide which is gonna be a really good video so make sure you guys are around for that there's gonna be a premiere probably at 6 30 or 7 eastern standard time so anyways that is going to be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did leave a like i will catch you guys again tomorrow see you then peace